And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brevard Sports Network and our continuing coverage of middle school basketball. We have Coco Beach Minutemen taking on the Vieira Charter Panthers. Caleb Brown here, along with Chase Alexander. And uh, folks, we uh, we apologize. Uh, Coco Beach is in the process of getting us a roster. As, uh, I wonder what they're chatting right, so, about here. So they're chatting about something. It's 2 nothing. We are a charter on top. Ch China again, check was the first one to score. Again, I'd like to thank Orange Pest Control for sponsoring this matchup. Middle school boys basketball. Some of you just saw the uh, middle school girls basketball. Vieira Charter taking on uh, Cocoa Beach and uh, Vieira Charter coming out with a 36 to three victory. Hmm. As as the officials are having a, a talk with somebody. Looks like Panthers coach. Yeah, uh, Coach uh, Taryn Shannon. Doesn't even uh, look like senior the official. Looks like the scorers table. Maybe a uh, number hard to read or something. Who knows? All right. Hold up, folks. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we apologize here. We're trying to get together with Cocoa Beach to get a copy of their roster. and We got a VR Charter roster. They're awesome enough to provide us with one at Cocoa Beach. Uh, it's middle school basketball, so uh, sometimes it's a little hard to communicate. They don't necessarily bring extra copies of their rosters. Usually it's just one printed off. As we're waiting to uh, get play started back up, seven only ten seconds have come off the clock here in the first quarter. Currently on for the Vieira Charter Panthers, number eleven, uh, Terrence Shannon Jr. Number one, George Benjamin Jordan. Number seven, Austin Ricketts. And number four, Luke Costin. And uh, we're in the midst of getting a Cocoa Beach roster, and here comes Cocoa Beach trying to get the ball up to court. And Coco Beach, there's number three. Number three taking it up court. Stolen by Vieira Charter. Miss with the layup. And in there. And it's 4 nothing. Vieira Charter on top. Vieira Charter playing that defense. Here comes Coco Beach. Coco Beach moving it around the horn. Number three takes it back out of midcourt. All right, here we go. And here comes Vieira Charter. There's number one, Benjamin Jordan, who puts it in. And here comes Coco Beach. There's number 21, Ricky Burke. Game of turnovers. Here comes off the side of the iron. Terrence Shannon Jr. has it. 
Gives up to Jordan. Jordan currently by himself and gets the ball taken by number three, Keelan Usinger. That's something that will drive a coach crazy when you try to make an unnecessary move behind the back when you could have gone straight up or bounced past to the guy that was wide open on the block. And I'll tell you what, this Cocoa Beach team, they're fierce. They, you know, they may not have the size, but I promise you they got the heart. Here comes Terrence Shannon Jr. Back across the timeline. Gives it down low there to number seven, Austin Ricketts. Just too big. And uh, I believe that was number 33. That's uh, Bronson uh, Chatechek. And Chatechek with his first two points of the game. It's 8 nothing. Vieira Charter on top. Coco Beach set to inbound. They thought the blue line was inbound. So yeah, think. no, it, 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 it's the, it's that, uh, that black line. Yep. Yeah. That, bl that black line is the out of bounds mark. Set to inbound is number one, Benjamin Jordan. Jordan sets the play in motion, gets it out to to Terrence Shannon Jr. I swing. Kick, kicks it out to uh, Luke Costin. Costin shot up, no good. And here comes the Minutemen. Minutemen, one on three. Stop pump fake. Gets the ball knocked away. And here come the Panthers. There's they number seven, the Austin Ricketts. I mean, the whole team was down there. Great job there by num by uh, Chattachek. And Chattachek with another two points, 12-0. Vera Charter on top. And timeout taken by Coco Beach. So, Chase. That was a, that was a man's move right there. That was. The ball one hand, one power dribble, put your shoulder down and go up. Again, it's going to be scary. Because uh, let me let me just uh, state for the record, Chattachek is in eighth grade. So you get him into a high school system where he goes in, you know, lifts weights in the offseason and, he is going to be scary when he grow when he grows yeah, into his body get, he's and get learns it. As well. Oh right, I mean, we're, we're we're probably talking somewhere at least six two. Again, we like to thank uh, Orange Pest Control for your local for the best go to uh, pest control service. Get Orange Pest Control. We have tagged their Facebook page in the description head to their facebook page and find out all the great services orange pest control can take care of and the crazy thing is you say he'll be six two like he's big now yeah when you're big when you're younger but if you stay that six two at the next level you got to transition into that guard position which is the toughest thing and it's it is what it is though high school needs big men badly you're right all right so possession will remain with Coco Beach, or no, check that. It's uh, heading to the free throw line to shoot two. I believe that's uh, Jordan. Uh, it's Jordan in there. Goes one for one from the line. 13-0. Jordan bangs it home. Two for two from the free throw line. And here comes Coco Beach. There is number 23, Holland, dishing it off. And here is Chattachek. Chattachek bounces, powers his way into the, into the paint. Rebounded there by number seven, Austin Ricketts. Yeah, that full court press is menacing to an offense trying to get it down the court when you got such athletes on the floor. And Shannon Jr. comes up, giving it off there. Dribble, nice great move. pass. Jordan for three. Jordan hits the three, and it's 19 to zero in favor of Vieira Charter. Shannon Jr. with the ball. Shannon Jr. gets stopped at the free three point line, ran into a wall. Jordan battling for it. Last touch by Jordan, and it will be Coco Beach ball as they inbound a quarter of their way up. Looks like number five, Chris Master, is set to inbound the ball. Gives it off there to number four, Alex uh, Borgen. And here comes Vieira Charter. 
Austin Ricketts with a simple layup, and it's 21-0 here in the uh, first quarter. Great double team, got him cornered, and uh, ca causes the turnover. Tough sledding. Jordan on the inbound. Jordan gives it to Shannon Jr. And Chattachek in there with the rebound, puts the ball up, not able to score, but gets fouled for two. Came in from the three-point line on that rebound, flying in. I mean, he you're right. He just comes flying in like nobody's business. I, 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 I would have a, a, another description, but uh, that, it's not good for uh, middle school even though it is a, a meatloaf song. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> Thanks, Chase. <laughs> Chattachek off the back of the iron. Goes 0 for 2 from the line. And it's 22-0. Here so comes Coco Beach. Half-court offense here. And he'll be fouled on the floor. Was uh, number three, uh, Kellen Usinger. I thought he was fouled on the floor. They're going to say he was driving to the hoop, so maybe for a layup. Okay. So Usinger heads to the line to shoot two. A little hard off the back inside of the iron. And it's 22 0 as Fresh Legs check in for both. Uh, number 28. Derek Schmadeke checks in along with number 12, Ryan Valls. <laughs> As Usinger, off the back of the iron, rebounded by Luke Costin. Costin gives it to Shannon Jr. Shannon Jr. brings it up to court, gives it back to Costin. Costin to Chadachek. Chadachek bounces, powers his way back so into the basket and puts it in for two. 24-0. There's the spin. Almost gets that one in, and Chattachek with the rebound gives it to Shannon Jr. And uh, Jr. will bring it up to the free, or bring it up. What a pass. Looking to try to get it to Schmadeke. Schmadeke gets it into Chattachek. Chattachek battles his powers his way in. And it's 26-0. Chattachek, so far, I think your scoring leader with uh, eight or ten points. Yeah, I was going to say, he's probably got half the points for the Panthers. Yeah. Chattachek. What a, what a play there by number 23, Taj Holland. Holland gets two points on for the Minutemen, and it's 26-2. Cost in back to Shannon Jr., Shannon Jr. kicks it out to Chattachek. Chattachek. It's Costin. Costin back into nice. Chattachek. But a great job by Holland. Holland bringing, going coast to coast. Spins in. Fade away. Off the side of the iron and rebounded by Coco Beach. Mm. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. 322 left to go here in quarter number one. And uh, number nine set to check the ball in. Jonas Lariston gives it to Shannon Jr. Shannon Jr. with a little cross up. Stutter step. Finds his way into the lane. Running shot and no good. And here comes Holland. Holland still looking down the court. Battling his way in the paint. Little fade away, no good, rebounded there you know, by number 12, that, Ryan Falls. That's a big guy, he just needs to not fade. I know he's got big guys down in the paint, but if he can stop the fade away and just go up, he's going to draw a lot of fouls. He will. Uh, pass there, number two on the shot, that was Shay Evan Estes. And Junior with, Shannon and Junior with the block. High pace action going here, folks. Again, you saw it there that they're fading away from contact. They're trying, they're avoiding the contact when they're going up for the layup. You can go into them and draw the foul, and you have actually a better chance of making it than fading away. Now a bunch of substitutions coming in. I can't keep track of all of them, as good as I am. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Uh, Kobe Usinger checking into the game. Uh, number 10 set to inbound. That's Hayes Vinson. And Vinson gets it underneath the basket. That one will rim out and rebound for uh, Vieira Charter. Here's uh, number 10, Michael Michael Charlie Stanfill. Ryan Valls gets it up there to number two. Number two pops it up. Off the back of the iron, Schmadeke with the rebound, and Schmadeke with two. And it's 28-2 with 2.50 left to go here in the first quarter. Panthers are playing grown men ball right now. Both sides of the floor. Holland dish, dishing it off there to Alex Borgen. Borgen back to Holland. Holland driving his way into the lane. Holland with an easy layup. I'm shocked he didn't get called. Uh, no foul was called. And it's 28-4. Valls steps in, running floater. And Valls drops that one in. It's 30-4 with 2.18 left to go here in the first quarter. Holland down low. And here we go. Schmadeke leading the charge. And that rim just snuck up on Schmadeke. Came up out of nowhere and he didn't realize where he was. For himself. <laughs> Holland. He drains another basket. He's got all six points for Cocoa Beach and it's 30 to 6. And there's number two on the shot. Schmadeke gets out rebounded. And here comes number 11, Kobe Usinger. Shot, no good, a little tough. And uh, back there to number 12, that's now it's Holland. Holland backing his way in. Another little fadeaway. Falls short off the front of the iron, rebounded by Vieira Charter, number nine. That's uh, Jonas Lauriston. Lauriston. Gives the pass off. Back to Schmadeke. Schmadeke going to the corner. Draws the double team. Vols steps just inside the three-point line. Pass down the baseline. Great great steal, though, by number 10, Hayes Vinson. Yeah, good instincts by Vinson, you said? Vinson, yes. Yep. So good instincts by him to jump that pass. And Holland from three. Off the back of the iron. Rebounded there by number two, uh, Evan Stennis, Vols, Vols on the layup. It's good, and it's 32-6 with 34 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Feels like even when they miss, somebody's there to clean it up and, and convert the offensive board. Holland going to drive it in. Schmadeke gets a hand on it and gets credit for the block. There's Stennis. Stennis down low to Vols. Vols overshoots that one. Schmadeke there to clean it up, but not put it back in. Three shots, three misses. Kobe Usinger going coast to coast. Can't put it in. Holland will get fouled on the shot with .9 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. And I'll tell you, uh, let me make sure. I Taj Holland. Putting up baskets and, and, and fighting for rebounds down low. Yeah, he's trying to keep them in this game right now. How often do you see, see 32 points scored in a middle school first quarter? You know, it, it all depends on some matchups, honestly. So Holland makes the first one. As the student section ramples up the noise. Taj Holland goes two for two from the line. 32-7. And there was .9 seconds. That will be the end of the first quarter with your score. The VR Charter Panthers, 32. The Cocoa Beach Minutemen, eight. Uh, we'll be back uh, here with second quarter action. Uh, Chase, uh, what did you see there in that first quarter? Just the amount of maturity from this Panthers team and the way that they're coached. You can you can tell 
the way that they space the floor and the will the way that they run their offense when they're when everybody's clicking and and the way that they crash the boards most importantly because it even if they miss somebody's going to be there like we saw three offensive rebounds on one possession yes i mean and, and they don't even have their tallest player in in, in uh uh, uh, uh check chat check yes uh, i mean you had vols down there you had uh Sh- Sh- derek schmadicky and then you had um Yeah, uh, uh, Evan Stenis, Evan Stenis, down there, all all getting rebounds. And again, what I like the, you know, I, I had a chance to talk with uh, Coach Shannon Senior, and uh, he said he's trying to get his guys mentally prepared. He's uh, he's there at the coaching staff at Rockledge, and part of what he tries to do is, is get his middle school kids in that high school mentality early. And that's and, exactly and you, what he's doing. And, 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 and you know what? He does a great job with it. And uh, you can tell his players will be ready for high school come the end, by the end of the season. Here comes Coco Beach, the shot up. That was uh, number eight. Let's try number zero, Connor Reynolds. That's one thing. Coco Beach needs a couple more players to step up and make some more plays to take some more pressure off of of uh, Holland. Holland. All right. So now they're they're having to teach someone how to how to run the clock. So coach coach Shannon Senior says, "Well, if you're going to give me a free timeout teaching a, teaching the young man how to run the clock, well then I'll take a free timeout to talk to my players." Smart strategy. Yep. <laughs> Nothing going on in the court. My players aren't just going to stand around. I'm going to go. I'm going to get an extra word with them. Back in on the floor is uh, number eight. I don't have a number eight. So let's go uh, number seven, Austin Ricketts. Number 11, uh, Terrence Shannon Jr. Yeah, I, I do not have a number eight on my roster. They gave Coco Beach a cup like maybe 10, 20 seconds after that bucket. Yep. We're going to start it over at eight. So, Junior give, gives it off. Ricketts back to Shannon Junior. Back to number five. Shoots from three. Rebounded there by the Panthers. Nice. And there's number two getting points. That's Evan Stennis. And Stennis. It's 34 10 in favor of. Vieira Charter, great defense there being played by number five. Number eight is Ellie Demon. Oh, uh, 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 Demendoza. Demendoza. Yeah, for some reason he he's not uh not on the roster. I have no clue why. But anyway, Demendoza on defense. Thank you guys for putting that in there. Appreciate that. Coco Beach trying to. Uh, Get something going, and it'll get called for the travel. Thank you very much. Yep, ban. Bye bye. The. Uh, yep. Here, continue. All right. Number five with the shot, and rebounded by Coco Beach. As he goes uh, tumbling, luckily saves himself. That was uh, number 10, Haynes Vincent. And the clock is running. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Again, they're, 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 they're training the young man how to, to uh, work the clock. Maybe that's a rule in this league. That's, that would be a travel. Because it happened last game as well, even though it wasn't a – I mean, I don't know what uh, – uh, the it, 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 Here in the public school league that we're playing by public school rules, it's 35 by halftime. Okay. So that's not the case. All right, here, so here's number 10, Vincent. Vincent. And there's number 27 there knocking out. That's Diego uh, Alvin Alvin Ringa. 
Alvin Ring. Al uh, Alvar and Ringa. And uh, Vin Vincent gives it to Holland. Holland trying to back his way into the paint. And there's uh, there's number three, Keelan Usinger bounces it off his leg. Yep. Pressure from that Panthers defense. They're applying it. They've been applying it all game. Playing a little bit of that organized chaos. And Shannon Jr. gives it off there to uh, Demendoza. Demendoza's pass is uh, deflected. deflected, and Demendoza will set is set to uh, inbound from the sideline. Gives it to Shannon Jr. Shannon Jr. orchestrating. Set gets the play set up. Gets it there, number twenty-seven. That's uh, Alvaringa. Gives it to Shannon Jr. Shannon Jr. in there to uh, number seven. That's Austin uh, Ricketts, and Ricketts gets another two points, and it's thirty-eight ten. And uh, there's another steal. Ricketts with the easy layup. And here comes Coco Beach as they make their way across. As, uh, the, student, as the whole student section is moving from one side to the other. And they're going to put a new five in. For Vieira and, Charter. And Vieira Charter with a new starting five. It's going to be number six, D Diego Diaz Gomes. Uh, number one, uh, Benjamin Jordan. Uh, Chatechek is in, back in the game. And number four, Luke Costin. As Coco Beach, I believe, took a timeout there. So It's going to be uh, 329 left to go in the first half. 40 to 10, Vieira Charter on top. Folks, there's uh, so much action going on, and uh, of course, as we know, uh, hopefully, the Vieira Hawks have started their state championship game in volleyball. Uh, they are playing the St. Thomas Aquinas uh, Raiders, who is a team that they defeated last season in the uh, region semis. So, actually, I believe it was the. Uh, State semis in the final four, final four game. So that that's going to be an interesting one, and uh, good luck to the Lady Hawks looking to win their the 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 program's first state championship. Pretty impressive. And Chatechek and uh, that, that that pass looked a little rushed there. Yeah. That was uh, that was Jordan trying that was a, to. That was a little hectic from the beginning between Jordan and Chattachek. Yeah, bouncing yeah, he, in between both of those guys, so he was just trying to get it down the floor. Had had, had two players there uh, going for it at the same time, and yeah. All right, so in here, set to get the inbound is Kellen Usinger from Cocoa Beach. Set to receive the inbound as we're. So the referee is officially it's a running clock. Yep. Okay. So we're we're, we're at a running clock here uh, in the second quarter, and you singer takes the pick set by Holland. Nice screen. Got two of them, but and unfortunately not able to capitalize. There's a uh, number four, Luke Costin. Costin dishes it off to number three, Leo Smith. Jordan on the inside. Chatechek fights for the rebound, and I, was, I don't know if you noticed, but Coco, Banch, Coco Beach was uh, initially running man-to-man -man defense. Now they're in that kind of 3-2. I think their plan is trying to collapse when Chatechek gets the ball down close. Leo Smith for three. Kobe Usinger got a piece of that, and Smith still. I mean, because when you watch it, he shot the three, and it kind of went spinning in a weird direction, still sank and hit nothing but the bottom of the net. 
and heads up play by Chattachik because that's what they did. They closed on him and he kicked it out to the open guy, left the man open and found him. Absolutely. And here's uh, number 10 now, uh, Haynes, Haynes Vincent. Kobe Usinger, the pass underneath. And great, great job there by Coco Beach. 43 to 12. Leo Smith again from three, that time a little short. And what a great job by getting up and getting a piece of that one. Jordan off the back of the iron, off the glass, good. Got the touch on that one. 45-12 for Vieira Charter. And once again, that aggressive defense. Jordan on Holland, gives it to Chattachek. Chattachek off the glass, too hard. Gets it back up and puts it in. 47 to 12 with just over a minute left to go here in half number one. Holland trying to drive it in, loses control. Jordan on the pickup. Up top to Chattachek. Chattachek with the easy layup. I feel like if he yeah, jumps. He, yeah. he would have <laughs> yammed that one for sure. <laughs> I feel like if Chattachek jumped, he, he, he could have dunked that one. Holland battles himself in the corner, fighting in the paint. Off the back of the iron. And I think they're going to get uh, Jordan with a block there. Yeah, his hand was over the net and the rim itself. He just dropped it in there. Yeah. So I think I think I don't think you can dunk even if like you're if you if, if you have the ability. Yeah, to dunk, I'm. You I'm. Can at this I'm I, yeah, I'll say, I'm not sure in middle school if they allow dunking if you can. I th I think you should if you can dunk if in you middle can school. Dunk, why not? Right. I mean, you want to add excitement to a game. Come yeah. on now. But. As uh, Holland. This is going to take us down to the end of the half here. And yes, it is. He's got to get one more shot regardless. So, Off the front of the iron, and that will be halftime, folks, with your score. 49-12 in favor of Vieira Charter. Here at halftime, absolutely nothing. We'll see you in 10 minutes.
And welcome back here to the Brevard Sports Network. Vieira Charter leads 49-12. to As far as I know, we have a running clock. Thank you, Miss D. Cadwell. Or thank you, D. Cadwell. Yep. Uh, Grand pra- no problem. Here comes uh, Coco Beach. That's a Kobe U singer. And uh, now for Vieira Charter, Shannon Jr. gives it to Ricketts. Ricketts puts it in for two, and it's 51 to 12. I got it. And another steal by Vieira Charter. Luke Costins will get two, and it's 53 to 12. Number three, Kellen uh, Usinger. Usinger brings it across the timeline. And Costins got him. Touches it just before it goes out of bounds. They're playing just as aggressive as they were when the game started, and I love to see that. Oh, absolutely. No matter the score. If, you're, if you start the half, I don't care what the score is. You better come out the same way you came out when you started, unless you started flat. Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lutely Now, if it's the fourth quarter and there's two minutes left, you know, different well, story. Well, I mean, you, you still want to see your see your guys fighting the hard yeah. all the way to the end. Well, absolutely, but not as you know. Yeah. You know, what I'm trying to say absolutely. Costin playing defense there in the corner, getting double teamed in. Luke Costin, Costin down to Ricketts. Ricketts. Euro steps his way nice. into the lane. And puts that one in 55-12. Tried to poke that ball away, but Ricketts is just too strong down there. Usinger using the pick, but gets gets his his pocket picked. Ricketts again for another two. I think he's got ten points already almost. And it's uh Kate Keelan Usinger. Fires from three, hard off the glass. And here comes Shannon Jr. Shannon Jr. I think he was expecting uh, number five there to uh, continue running in the lane. That's uh, Ethan uh, Marklin. Here's uh, number four, Alex Brogan. Great ball movement there on the inside. Unfortunately, could not finish it off. Costin will take it up the court. Costin draws a double team. Shannon Jr. And look at that wide open. Great job swinging the ball, finding the open lane. And uh, as soon as I get that number, I will announce his name. That's uh, that's number nine, Jonas Lariston with two points. And it's 59 to 12 here in the third quarter. Jump ball, possession error remains with Coco Beach. Now, now this official saying Vieira Charter. So Vieira Charter has possession. Their uh, number five, Ethan Mark- Marklin, gives it to Shannon Jr. Shannon Jr. Get, gives it to uh, Jonas. And Jonas drains that one from three. And it's playing. 61 to 12. He's playing two ways right now. Great. That was uh, Jonas Loriston for three. Dribble drive shot off the front of the iron. Missed. Here comes Shannon Jr. has got all sorts of space. And Shannon Jr. will lay it up for an easy lay-in. 63-12. There's another steal by Lauriston. Lauriston, they're, they're going to say he traveled. And it's 63-12, to 12, four, 340 left to go here in the third quarter as the fresh five comes on. De- Derek Schmadeke comes on to the court. We got uh, number three, Leo Smith, who had an impressive shot. We got number 10, uh, Michael Charlie Stanfill. 
checking into the game. And here comes Jordan. Jordan. Nice. Euro stepping his way. Skip to my Lou, my darling. And he lays that one in. And uh, Coco Beach trying to get something set up. Jordan with the steal. Benjamin Jordan hand, throws it on up. And that was uh, Demendoza who gets rejected. And Holland, first time we see Holland back on the floor, and he gets his pocket picked. Great defense he's trying to play there on uh, Jordan, but uh, no mas. That's uh, Schmatic, he's Michael uncovered. Stanfield. Demendoza for three. Demendoza trains that one, and it's 68 to 12 with 223 left to go here in the first or uh, third quarter. If Schmadeke was wide open in the paint, but it didn't matter. The Mendoza just rained down the three pointer. Now they're playing a little man to man. Lost the dribble. And yeah, here comes uh, Leo Smith. And unfortunately, Smith called for the travel. It will be Coco Beach ball. Set the inbound and misses. There's uh, number two. And here comes Jordan. Jordan going to fake the pass. Can't hit the easy layup. Coach, I know Coach Shannon will have him running tomorrow. That's when you need your left hand in that situation. He and uh, his right there. No, you're absolutely right. You know, that's why you got to be proficient with both hands. And uh, defense, Demendoza. But you love to see that. Going up with his left hand, drawing contact, and almost the and one. I don't know if he's left-handed or not, but it, it sure looked like he was there. De Mendoza head to the free throw line with under a minute left to go and timeout called by Vieira Charter with 52.1 seconds left to go here in the first half of the thing. Orange pest control. If you got pests, and no, we're not talking about the me kind of pest. Uh, we're talking about, you know, those, those creepy crawlies that uh, get in the house. Well, Orange Pest Control is your local go-to for all your pe pest control needs. Uh, we have their page tagged in our description. Go ahead and give that page a click. You'll find all their information there on their Facebook page. It's a great company that has joined Brevard Sports. They joined uh, yesterday. Oh. They joined to be uh, partners in supporting youth and prep sports. So we thank Orange Pest Control for stepping up and helping Brevard Sports Network do what it is we love to do, and that's cover these student athletes. Sixty-eight to twelve, fifty-two point one seconds left to go in the quarter, as Demendoza heads to the line to shoot two. And that one uh, will Just touch the right. floor. You hear <laughs> Wide right. <laughs> Just a bit outside. And uh, battle for the rebound. Last touch by. We're going to give it to the Panthers. Nope. Nope. They're going to give it to the Miniman. And the Miniman will take it out. 20 seconds left to go in the quarter. Holland. Brings it across the timeline. Taj Holland. Steps, fires, and rebound by Coco Beach. Five seconds Nearly left. taken. Stole a steal by Leo Smith. Leo leads in his teammate. And there's number 10 with the buzzer beater, Michael Charlie Stanfill with the buzzer beater. And it's 70 to 12 to end quarter number three. I mean, that. I would really love to see this VR charter team, this specific VR charter team.
mm -hmm. against some of the other local middle school teams. Yes. Uh, Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see that because oh, their season's over. Right. Now, now, uh, you know, I, I got talking with Coach, and, you know, they're, they're looking at, you know, if they were to go to that, to that, uh, that public league where, you know, where they would have them placed. And I mean, they'd definitely be in that championship conversation. Oh, I mean, look, the, the, the way these athletes are, absolutely. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see if that ever happens. Here's a number five for Holland. And there's Chatechek. And Chatechek just with the easy layup. I'm still convinced. Easily. I mean, it would be easy for him. Holland comes across the timeline. Holland backing his way to the paint. Gibbs it off and nearly out of bounds, walking the tightrope. And uh, number two there with the steal, Evan Stenez, and unfortunately could not follow it up. Stenez on the defense. There's Stenez now with the steal. Stenez has got two. He's got Chatechek. Chatechek floats that one in, and it's 74 to 12 in favor of Vieira Charter. Evan Stena is playing defense aggressively along that back half court line. Now there's Valls. Valls, great feet he has. Staying wide, using a wide body. Great job, Chatechek now with the ball. Chatechek has got an open teammate, and unfortunately, he missed uh, Evan Stenez. And, you know, one thing that sticks out for me is that this Vieira Charter defense, they can guard one through five easily yes. in the man. They don't have to run. You see a lot of middle school have to run zone because it's hard to contain that one guy, that one score. But they and, have so many great defenders what, on the floor. Look, look at Vols here. Look at the footwork now. I mean, the footwork on everybody is absolutely incredible. And uh, there's... Falls will get called with the foul. I mean, they switched that screen like a high school team. Yes. They knew exactly where to go, and they and they moved their feet. They didn't bump into each other. And that's a tough foul call. I mean, it is what it is. Look. look. Yeah. Holland did a good job drawing the foul. Yes. Pump fake, go back up with it, get the shot called. And, and then, and then he, he makes it at the free throw line. There, makes them both. Goes two for two from the line, does Holland. Gives it in there to number six, Diego Diaz-Gomes. Gomes bringing it across. Gives it to Stennis. Stennis working it. Uh, yep. That's going to be a travel. Luggage and all. Five minutes left to go in the game as Coco Beach. You know, again, they're they're learning the game. You know, they're undersized, but they're scrappy. I'll, I'll tell you what. There's number three with a shot, and that's uh, Hayes Vinson, and Vinson not able to put that one in. And the ref allowing the Cocoa Beach player to uh, tie his shoe. Wonder why he's tying it under the hoop. Double knots him. Stenez. In there to uh, Diaz Gomes. Diaz Gomes gives back to Stennis. Stennis directing traffic. Looking to try to draw the double team. Gets it to check Chatechek off the side of the iron. He'll get blocked and fouled and head to the free throw line to shoot two. 74 14. Just under four minutes left to go here in. Here in the game. And Chatechek absolutely. Not only is dominant on the inside, but he's money from the free throw line. I've yet to see him. Never mind, I'm not going to say that. 
Not yet. Yeah, there's a knock on the floor. I, 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 I'm not, still not taking that chance. And I've yet to see him miss one. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's definitely he's gonna go home happy with a 20 plus point performance and multiple steals probably a double double just a great game for him Hayes Vincent Vincent gets the ball stripped and here comes uh, I believe that was Jonas uh, Loriston number nine who will head to the free throw line to collect two and he's played a great game we didn't hear much from him the first game that we were here and he's I don't want to say breakout because I we didn't watch the other game, but played a great game here today, both sides of the ball, most importantly. Yeah, no, he, he uh, uh, coach has been kind of doing a lot, of, lot more rotations. He's mm -hmm. been doing, and what I like about that is when you have when you have games like this, the mark of of good coaches is being able to say, hey, I don't need my starters in the mm -hmm. full time. Let's get everybody in. Let's get let's get rotation minutes. Let's work on some things with my twos in game time situations. Yeah, and this is a this is a thirteen man rotation. That yes, they have. and the, every guy you see sitting on the bench has played in this game to at least four plus minutes or two plus minutes. Yes. Speaking of two plus minutes, that's just about how much is left in this game. There's Holland. Holland coming across the timeline and being met. Ricketts, there's Kobe Usinger. Usinger dishes it off and great ball movement. Holland just a little short, puts the second shot up and it's good. And it's 78-16. Holland is have, has majority of the points for Coco Beach. Oh. And uh, nobody stuck up to take Shannon Jr. And uh, Hill said, okay, I'll take an easy two. Thank you very much. And it's 80-16. to 16. Holland shoots from three. In and out of the bucket. Here comes Shannon Jr. Gives it to Ricketts. Back to Shannon Jr. Puts that one up off the back of the iron. Ricketts gets out rebounded. There's number four. Mm. And Ricketts, after missing the shot and missing the rebound, Travels all the way down the court with the block. Not just a regular block, a ferocious block. Yes. Chase down. Again, that type of hustle, that type of mentality will serve you anywhere you go. A coach will gladly take that because if you're, especially if you're coachable, like, mm -hmm. like I know he is, coaches will take that all day. And uh, there's Holland putting in another two points. On the board, it's 80 to 18. 30 seconds left, so this should make 23 straight for Vieira Charter. And and and, and, and coaches, so they, they jumped on Leo there. Yeah. Because he said, look, etiquette is you just dribble the ball out. Yep. You don't you don't try to score. Yeah, they're telling him to hold it, but I mean, Coco Beach is trying to steal it. So. Oh no, no, I, absolutely, but but my, if if another team is trying to play defense on you, and that'll do it, folks. That'll make it offic official. Again, thank you to Vieira Charter and P Pest or or Orange Pest Control for stepping up and being sponsors tonight. Your score, the uh, Vieira Charter boys extend their winning streak to 23 games in a row. With your final score, the Vieira Charter Panthers 82, the Cocoa Beach Minutemen 18. We'll see you tomorrow night for playoff Friday Night Lights here on the Brevard Sports Network. I'm Caleb Brown for Chase Alexander, for Coach Terrence Shannon Sr., have a great night, and let's make it a sports night.